Greetings and salutations. This is Nikki. Welcome back to Midlife Adulting and I am here with a product review. I've seen this reviewed on YouTube before. No, I've seen that people have reviewed this on YouTube before. Have I actually reviewed it myself? No, but what it is is a Lavender Let's Create Your Dream Life journal. So I am very much into manifestation and the law of attraction and that kind of woo woo stuff and I am involved with it in my personal life as well as with work so when I got the opportunity when this popped up I think on Instagram and was like hey you know you want it I was like yeah yeah you're right I do my only issue happened so far was with shipping FedEx tried to deliver it the day before Thanksgiving and the office wasn't open that's fine they tried to deliver it to my office as intended and then they couldn't no problem so I figured they'll try the Monday after Thanksgiving and for some reason the Monday after Thanksgiving they threw another delivery exception out saying yo we tried to deliver it but we couldn't so I had to call and be like the heck and they figured it anyway it came today very excited very excited I haven't even opened it up a little bit the packaging is a little a little beat up just a little um this little corner is about ready to pop out but other than that it came it came in pretty good shape and my boss is actually very excited to see this too so I need to make sure I have this video recorded tonight so that he can see it tomorrow so here we go I have a thing to rip if I can oh yeah get this all centered in oh ooh. so the inside cover hello my artist of life shop lavender at at shop lavender uh, this box is made with love and recycled materials. Please reuse, regift, and recycle. So there isn't any plastic packaging so far. I like that. Um, I can recycle the paper or I can reuse it as stuffing for something else. And inside, oh, life is an art. Make it your masterpiece. Very nice. While I probably won't reuse the box because you can see the little tabs of torn here at the edges to, um, I don't know if I'll be able to reuse this box, but I can definitely reuse this box. Look at this. It's lovely, lovely white box with a little bit of gold foil on the front. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, Artist of Life Workbook 2024. So I will be able to ooh, crack into this next year. Boy, it feels nice. It doesn't smell like real leather. It kind of has that vinyl-y kind of smell, but I like it. Um, I don't know if it's real leather or not. It says lavender back here got the foil again and their little flower icon icon oh so pretty and that's all that's in the box set that up to the side so I didn't realize when I ordered this but I ended up getting a PDF of this book so I have technically had access to the contents of the book since I ordered it mid-november and it took like I said two weeks to get to me but not unreasonable the price for the book was reasonable too, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but I'll try to put it on the screen for everybody. So, nice blank spread for me to add stickers. Ooh, and this front page is real stiff. I like that. Okay, this workbook belongs to Artist of Life Workbook, a guide to creating your most intentional and successful year. And that's part of what I'm involved with right now in my workplace creating this kind of plan and book for others based on research we've done 
um, on what's out there. But that is, so that's why I was so interested to see the, the contents here. Um, this back cover is also very nice. Oh, and there's some dot grid note pages in the back and some lined pages. That's nice. Okay. The pages are nice. They're not super thin. They're not super thick and they're definitely good for writing on. Table of contents. I really like, and it seems, I really like the pages. I like the layout so far. I like the full pages with quotes. I like the little letter. Instructions on how to use it. The best way to predict the future is to create it. I love this quote. That's one of my favorite quotes. Okay, so there's a place to reflect on 2023. Take this moment to capture your thoughts and close out the year. So I could start this book now. And, wow, yep. So this is all kind of standard stuff. What worked, what, you know, what were the highlights? What worked, what didn't work? What did I learn? What changed? Who made a difference? What am I most grateful for? What was the moment? What were the moments of pure joy? That's a very short review section. But it did cover the, the bases. And it doesn't offer a lot of instructions, which is kind of good because sometimes you can get bogged down in like, well, how am I supposed to do this? And this kind of gives you the freedom to fill it out how you're moved to. And then hello 2024. Now is the time to ring in the new year and relish in the new beginnings. This is such an exciting time, so take advantage of the energy of the moment. Your new life begins here. Let's get started. Okay, so they have you pick a theme. A lot of people will pick a word for the year. And repetitive a little bit. You know, what do I want to feel this year? How did I feel last year? How do I want to evolve? How did I evolve last year? So we're getting some, some good, um, you know, listen, that's how it went. This is how I want it to go. Directions on how to do a vision board. I actually love that they have some draw it out. Oh, and they have some space for you to do current and future me. Self-love. Okay. This is familiar values, passions, strengths, and motivations. In the circle, draw yourself and write your name. I'm not good at drawing. I'm not going to draw myself. I'm going to end up with random little stick figures and funny looking faces, but defining success, defining a fulfilling life, 10 things I love about myself. I know some people are going to have a hard time with that because they don't, especially if you're new to manifestation and gratitude and self-love, trying to find things that you love about yourself can be hard. We are conditioned to beat ourselves down and to be able to find things that we love can be difficult. I love hearing my knuckles crack. That's awful, but <laughs> that's one thing that pops to mind. Mindset refresh, negative self-talk usually sounds like that's good. So you can get out what your negative self-talk is and then what positive beliefs will I choose to adopt instead? This will be really important and it even says pro tip save these in your notes and read them aloud to yourself often absolutely get your positive beliefs and your positive affirmations and read them to yourself often because what you focus on expands and what you make an effort to train yourself to think you will eventually start to adopt as fact prioritizing self-care that's good and there is always the argument of what is the what is self-care is self-care buying yourself a treat when you're feeling down or is self-care going out for a walk when you're feeling down um, is self-care getting uh, having a spa day or is self-care reading 10 pages of a self-development book every day you know there 
there's different thoughts and I think sometimes self-care can be both of those things but it does kind of depend on how you're living your life so if your self-care ends up being to buy yourself something but one of the things you're also trying to do is save money you've got some contradictions there designing habits committing to habits that's good ideal habits that's nice Sometimes it's hard to just come up with these things on the spot and a lot of times your mind changes. So I'll be interested to see if I decide to do this in pen or not, or if I do it in pencil and erase. So then I'll erase everything. Let's see how that goes. Oh, goals, excellent. And they even give you tons of areas to set your goals. This is actually interesting. So I'm used to the wheel of life and seeing, you know, your your 10 categories that you rank yourself in but they've got more than 10 here dream life best year health relationships career school personal growth money home creative spiritual main goals bucket list and ideal world that's nice i love a little hey you should start here my dream life health relationships this is standard stuff. I do like this, these kind of questions because they do get you to think. Home, yeah. Creativity and play, spirituality. I love that they said spirit, spirituality and not religion because I kind of think of myself as a spiritual person but I am not religious, period, end of story. Okay, and then a place to enter your main goals and it stretches over to, this I really like too. It's asking you what area do you have your goal in, the main goal for that area, and why is it your goal and how are you gonna get it done? So let's say that household was one I choose or, or physical environment and my main goal is to um, be able to vacuum once a week without having to move everything. So this is an issue for me. Why is it important? Because I don't vacuum frequently because it's difficult to get around the obstacles in the house. How am I gonna get it done? I'm going to set a goal to clean an area every weekend. Um, whether that means, you know, the like legitimate areas like the bathroom or areas, constructed areas like the area in front of the bookshelves or the stuff in front of the television. I like that. Bucket list, 100 things to do before 2025. So I like these kind of lists because you may only be able to think of, let's say you start listing your things and for me, maybe I'll get to 22, 32, right? Then I have trouble thinking of more. The next, 25 ideas that I get might be things I never considered trying. The next 25, those are even further away from things I would normally consider doing. And that is kind of fun. Like maybe I get to, you know, 85 and I decide skydiving is a bucket list. Well, maybe I don't have the opportunity for it, but I know that skydiving is on my list. And so I'm looking for opportunities that might get me closer to that. Uh, maybe that means going out for more frequent walks so I can do a tandem jump with someone. Or um, maybe it means, you know, looking into places where you can uh, sky, sky jump, skydive, skydive, and hanging out there to watch other people do it. My ideal world. Okay. Woohoo, you've gotten clear on your goals. Now, if you really want to make your goals come true, Pick out your most important goals from this section and write them in your goal book, page 59. There you will find pages where you can plan out your goals on a quarterly and monthly basis. Okay. So a lot of things that I'm familiar with stop at this point and then send you either into a different book or suddenly you're in the planner part. Honestly, I've completely forgotten whether this is a planner or just a... I think it's just a workbook. I don't think it's a planner. How to stay committed. What is my plan for when I fall off track? On fear. 
What is the fear? What is the worst that could happen? If that were to happen, what would you do to bounce back? Will I survive? <laughs> yes, inevitably, he will survive. Comparison. I like that it's kind of laying flat. I mean, I'm pressing down on the pages, but eliminating excuses I like that. Congratulations, you did it. You planned out your dream life. So they've got more resources. Get social. And then here's the goal book section from dream to reality. Okay, you're at a glance. What's the comb? Ah, here's that wheel of life. Self-reflection wheel, I call it. Wellness, self, relationships, purpose, financial, creativity. Six sections. Oh, and then there's the smaller things. Creativity, joy and play, adventure, physical, nutrition, emotional. Oh, ha, ha. Well, pitching that to somebody. That looks amazing. I like that they've broken them down. They have big categories and smaller categories. I never thought of that. And then the goal is, you know, to make it a wheel to have, if not tens and everything, balance so that you're not having, you know, a 10 here and a three there and a seven and a one. That is going to be the reality of it. But what you're working towards is, to, is balance. January goals. Oh, weekly breakdown. Nice. There's a habit tracker, a daily tracker. Okay. A gratitude journal. I, I would need more pages. I'd like to do three gratitudes a day. And a review and reflections. Okay, so this is not exactly a planner, but it is going through... Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous ribbons. We're gonna keep those tucked because I have cats and they will eat those shorts. And then let's see here, October, gratitude journal reflections, December, and how does it end? Year in review. Okay, that's nice. Celebrate the wins, very important. How have I grown, space for gratitude. How did I do on my goals? Thank you for a wonderful year. We'll continue this journey in the 2025 year. Artist of Life workbook. So they end with purchase a new book. I don't blame them. That's a good way to end it. Ideas for these pages. Now, here's an idea. Come back in here, up front, look at the 2023 year in review and do your 2024 year in review here if you're thinking to not progress in this book again. Um, but then, yeah, collecting quotes, journaling prompts, dream journals, morning pages are fun. That's where you wake up and the first thing in the morning you record uh, three pages of just mind dump. It could be lists, it could be to-dos, it could be dreams that you had the night before, it could be anything. And journaling prompts and then we're on our dot grid pages and the very last page is dot grid this is nice i'm excited about this i'm a little afraid oh this thing's got 2024 here at the bottom i'm a little afraid that i'm going to rip the cover just out of use but as mentioned it does come with this fabulous box so i could you know keep it in the box and keep it per perfect or use this for storage or use this as a regifting box. It's a nice box. Um, that's what I had. I think I'm pretty satisfied with this purchase. I feel like I, want, I, I wish I could remember how much I, I paid for it. I want to say it was in the range of 25 or $30 and for 25 or $30, I'm really pleased with this. I feel like I got my money's worth. I think it's offered me a couple of new things that I didn't think of before, and it has also covered all the bases that I'm familiar with and expect to have in, in a product like this. Um, so that's where I've got. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. If you're interested, I have another manifestation kind of 
get your year going, positive thinking, personal development, journal, planner thingy coming later on this week that I'm going to do another video on. And then I'm going to try to keep everybody up to date as I go through the year with how the planner is going. So when I do my review, I'm going to try to go through and talk about how the review went, even if I don't reveal what I wrote in all of the chunks. I'm looking forward to that. And um, so I want to kind of track my progress and really be able to say at the end of the year, did this this manifest me money? Did this get me ahead? Did this keep me focused? What are things that I really liked about it? What didn't work for me? Uh, so, 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 so on and so forth. Blah. I hope everybody's having a great day. And if you're not having a great day, I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope tomorrow is better. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, love you, bye.